The tools required to change the lubricant in the high pressure pump are an 11 16 combination wrench, a 9 16 combination wrench, a funnel with a short piece of hose, safety glasses, chemical resistant gloves, and a drain pan. Also, for materials required, Hydromaster recommends an ISO 68 pump lubricant. In this case, it's kept pump lubricant. And the Hydromaster part number is 000087001. This is the only approved lubricant for use in Hydromaster high pressure pumps uh, to maintain warranty, which will provide a good service life for the pump. Hydromaster recommends daily checking of the lubricant in the high pressure pump prior to machine operation. We have provided a sight glass at the rear of the pump for convenience in checking the lubricant level. For proper level, the lubricant level in the sight glass should be halfway up the sight glass near the red dot. Upon purchase of your machine, the first recommended oil change interval is 50 hours. After the initial change at 50 hours, we recommend a 500 hour interval for oil changing in the high pressure pump. So to change the oil in the pump, our recommendation is first to put on the approved safety equipment in the form of chemical resistant gloves and safety glasses. We will then remove the high pressure pump oil drain hose that we provided for you, which is conveniently located in this clamp at the rear of the unit. And use our, using our 9 16 wrench and our 11 16 wrench, we will remove the cap from the end of the hose, allowing the lubricant to drain out of the pump into an approved drain pan. Once the oil has drained out of the pump, then make sure to reinstall the cap initially by hand so you don't cross thread it. And then by using the same wrenches, again 9 16 and 11 16 and snug the cap just tight enough so that it does not leak, but not tight enough to actually strip the threads. At that point, we will return the hose back into its clamp at the rear of the machine. And we will move around to the other side of the pump and remove the oil fill cap from the top of the pump. It's a good idea before you pull the cap all the way out to wipe the area around the pump to make sure that there's no debris present that could fall into the interior of the pump. So for now we'll set the cap aside, take our funnel with the short length of hose, insert the hose into the top of the pump, and then we will fill, fill the pump with the approved oil slowly while watching the sight glass to ensure that we achieve the proper level halfway up the sight glass. Once the pump oil level has been achieved, we will remove the funnel and hose from the top of the pump and we'll reinstall the dipstick and fill plug assembly in the top of the pump. It is very important that you reinstall the fill and dipstick assembly plug in the pump or the oil can come out over time and seize the pump. We'll do a second check to make sure that the oil level is correct and that will conclude changing the lubricant and checking the lubricant in the pump on the 575 Titan.